Welcome back, kids and coaches. I'm Coach Kit Murphy. We're back here on the Kit Murphy Podcast, and I got Nick Goody with me today. Nick, how you doing, brother? I'm good, bro. I'm chilling. Hey, man, thanks for coming on. Yeah, bro. Thanks for having me. Hey, uh, Love watching your I, show, so. I appreciate it, man. I got this uh, I got this nice picture behind here. I feel like, I, you know, if I ever bat against you, if you want to serve some up to me like that, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> I'm sure... Uh... I'm sure you would be. <laughs> well, uh, I'll, just have a little, I'll just have a little personal dinger derby. You can just be like, oh, I was throwing him underhand, whatever. You yeah, know what I mean? We both win, yeah. whatever. Then we'll go fight some, you know, fight somebody on the other team, whatever we got to do. Exactly. We can take on the whole team like a mirror. So, worries. I'm good. Yeah. So, you, well, uh, so you, so you're pitching, but I, you know, I read that you came up, you was a, you were a shortstop when you first went to college. And they yeah, talked I still you into, Yeah, they talked you into pitching. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I still think I, I still think I could pick it at shortstop. So yeah, I got the best glove on the team, but you know, whatever, <laughs> I guess they just need me, need me, uh, need me on the mound. So that's where I'm at now. Were you, were you like, were you kind of, were you kind of mad about it when they made you switch to pitching or were you like ready to do it? Yeah. No, I was pissed. I still, dude, I was, <laughs> I'm still an infielder. You're still, you're still thinking about it in your head, aren't you? <laughs> Think about course, pulling like a Rick Ankiel halfway through your career, aren't you? <laughs> exactly. I don't think it ever leaves you. I think you just you're, you grow up. I played short, and then whenever they moved me to the mound, I started playing a little bit of outfield and kind of like the outfield. And so I dove one time in in, uh, in JUCO, and and our and our head coach at the time was like, "That's it. We don't need you diving. We need you. We need you to pitch." So I was like. That's a, Damn, so that's I a guess bunch of crap, man. That's the chicks love the diving, man. You got to do it. That's what I'm saying. I was all decked. Can, I had the Evo shield, the baggy pants. I had every. I <laughs> I made sure that I I look like I look the part. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Well, you haven't even had. You haven't even got to bat yet in the majors, have you? No, it's brutal. I told yeah, Tito. I, I told Tito last year though. I told him when we were playing the Mets. I said, "Hey, Tito, boy, get in that bat. I <laughs> I ain't looking down the third base. I'm. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, man. Were you a uh, were you a dinger hitter? Dinger hitter back in the day? I mean, I mean, I was pretty. I had some pop. Let me say, if I got into one, you know, it was going deep. I would say I was probably, you know, a doubles hitter. But when your boy got into one, okay, you can crush a little. I like that. She was going. I'm about I'm I'm about six fifty on average. Oh it's yeah. Like, you know, if the wind's coming in, you know, five fifty something like that. But yeah. Yeah, six fifty. That's yeah. that's average. I mean, that's that's deep. Well, you. Th- if you got like, if they gave you like all spring to just hit and get ready, what do you think you could bat? You think you could bat three hundred, bro? Yeah. How many days do you get in the season? Is that, is yeah, that yeah, man. Come yeah. on, you, you ain't hitting a while, man. I was, I was a switch. I was a left hand. I saw a right handed. It didn't matter. Like, uh, how many dingers would I hit? I don't know. I I. I Man, it just depends on what bat company gave me the best wood, I guess. <laughs> I, feel, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, you know, I like at least ten. Okay, well that's well. I mean, I thought you were going to say like a good number, but uh, yeah, ten. <laughs> yeah, ten's pretty cool, I guess. If you're into like, I mean, it's it's double you know. digits. I mean, you know, first year, first year coming back, I'm getting my feet wet. You're probably going to throw me a lot of heaters. I mean, I run into ten at least. At yeah, least, yeah. 10. I mean, yeah, that'll. Uh, you know, I guess the seats will probably just stay empty if that was happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's get, quality, not quantity. You got you, know, so you got to get that thing up to forty, man. <laughs> forty. Huh. I'd own the freaking. You, team. If you come out, if you come out your first year and just do like forty, forty, be like, who wants to pitch now? Who's mad <laughs> about me diving now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I believe me. I I lobby for, I lobby for pitchers AB all the time. Hey, we take ground balls at shortstop. That's my favorite part of the whole day. Do you ever put on a show in batting practice? You ever just like show like, hey guys, just so you know, I can't hit some dingers. You know what I mean? I got I got some video. I got some video. I like in the it. off season. I, I almost tweeted it at you a little while ago. I mean, this off <laughs> this this off season, this quarantine deal was a little different, but I was out there taking BP with the boys. So I, I like it. Hey man, yeah. I'm off the you know in the off season we'll just we'll put a dinger dinger derby together. We'll just go put on a laser show for America, bro. I'm you don't want me pitching in. when you're batting, though. Bro, throw that slop up in there, bro. Send it right back out. <laughs> I only throw heat, baby. Yeah, throw That's it. all I hit. <laughs> yeah, I don't throw wussy-ass curveballs or nothing like that. I bring it hard and strong. 
Long That's how I live strong. my life. That's how Hard goes. and strong, baby. <laughs> I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> what are you what are you running your fastball up to right now? Uh, I don't know. It's not a, not the, it it comes and goes, you know what I'm saying? If you're throwing yeah. it hard and strong, you're probably right up there with me. <laughs> you think so? You're hard but maybe not strong yet? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Well, I got, you I got know the, what? I got bro. Hey, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> You got some guns over there. All I, right. I got the I got the strong. The, the Those things are legal. Place. Those things are legal down in Texas too. I don't even think you have to have a permit down there. It's open carry, it's, baby. That's what I'm saying, man. Open uh, carry. Yeah. That's what I'm talking lucky, about, brother. Lucky I wore the sleeves today too. I mean, I almost went shirtless, but you know. Well, I think I think you're probably lucky you did that because people actually watch this. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't think that. I think that. I didn't think that was the case. But all right. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like my mom and my brother. You know, they're good people, and they'll watch it like ten times each. So. Well, they they're good. If you approve, I approve. Yeah. 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 What was your uh, hey? What was your favorite quarantine activity before you got started back up? Besides favorite not qu- besides not sculpting your guns. <laughs> oh man favorite activity i mean i got into golf and i i uh i got a little we we're, were in florida and we didn't you know florida they just they open up everything so you know we're not too oh, yeah. worried about it but apparently you know this is a big deal i got into golf got me got me over here you take a look at them pretty proud of that yeah yeah i still shoot over 100 so they didn't you know they're <laughs> We're getting there, do, but uh, I do too, man, because I only use a driver. I don't take any other club with me. <laughs> you know what? I, that's that's about what I. That's about all I got to. That's what you got to do, man. You just got to grip it and rip it every time. You know, I went golfing one time with Daniel Norris a couple years ago. He showed up. You know, Daniel Norris, pitcher for the uh, Tigers. Yeah, yeah, hey, I'm familiar. Should... I'm probably taking me hard. <laughs> but well, let me tell you something. He showed up to the golf course, no shoes, like. And all he had was a driver, no bag. I'm like, bro, what are you, what are you doing? And he like put the driver, you know, in the in the cart. He was like, just set it in the cart, no bag, just like rattling around. He's like, that's all I need, man. I said, that's yeah, yeah. that's the right. right way to play golf, man. That's badass. Yeah, just that's. I mean, I, I'm, I'm when I when I talk to him, one of these days I'm gonna talk to him. I'll send him the Kent Murphy Medal of Honor. You know what dude, I mean? For playing dude, golf like that. That dude deserves it. Other than that, the it. other that's my boy right there. I'm on daddy, up, buddy? Dude, but <laughs> the other uh, the other quarantine thing I like to do was uh, I did a lot of like smoking meats on the green egg and uh, you know trying to perfect that craft. Did you get any hot dogs out there on the grill? Make some big fat cheese dogs. <laughs> some throat sliders. Yeah, we had. Some yeah, 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 man. That's nah. the way to really beef up those guns. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. That's how you oh, get your dinger energy. American. That's what I, you know what, that's what I need sometimes. Whatever, you, whatever, whatever, uh, tips and things you got for me to, uh, you know, throw hard and, 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 and long and strong. Let me know, bro. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Hey man, I gotta, uh, I gotta pay for this episode. So, uh, I got, to, I got to talk to my sponsors and I was like, Oh, Nick Goody's coming on there. Hell, we got one for him. So I'm going to uh, read hell. mine. I'm going to read mine first. And then, uh, I think you got one. Today's episode of the Kent Murphy Podcast is brought to you by Dingers. Do you find yourself striking out or hitting lowly doubles and singles? Then get out of my face and find another sport to fail at. I only hit Dingers because that's the only acceptable hit. Dingers. Making baseball great again. Dude. Yeah, that's a real company. That's a real, they're good too. Hold up, hold up. They pay me about $8 a week. Yeah, I deserve that. Go ahead and start it, America. Let's go, everybody. Join in. There we go. All right, I'm gonna read you. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read mine. But All here's right, the here thing. We go. I'm, I'm on my. I'm on my phone, so that I. You know, I get I gotta, you. So it's gonna be the, the the deal off. But here you go. All right, here we Today's go. Today's episode of the Kent Murphy Podcast is brought to you by Chin Music. Want to stare me down at the play? Box, big boy. I got a new song for you. It's called a high hard one, right by the righties. Don't let a batter show you up ever again. Just give them some chin music and wait for them to take, make a mistake and come at you. Kent Wood. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right, Kent Wood. I know he would. You know I would. Any better, anybody ever charge a mound on you? Bro. 
Are you what? waiting for it? You think you'd win? Coming back from Tommy John, I took some I took some some boxing classes back in 2013. I like it. Prepared me. I said, hey, man, hey, hey, you know, because you come back from Tommy John that first year, you don't know how it's going to be. You might brush somebody up in the chin. Then you got to guess what? You got to be ready to whoop some ass. And so you I took throw some hands, boxing. Yeah. Yeah. So I took some boxing classes and, uh, you know, I, uh, I would say the confidence of a, of a, somebody charging the mound went through the roof. I like it, man. Sure. I like it. How you throw is that? How's that left hook? Are you in there like Tyson right now with that left hook? Or are you still working on it? I don't need it. It's, 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 it's nine months in the hospital. Sudden death. <laughs> so you just throwing like overhand rights all day, huh? Oh man, I'm throwing. You know what? My my fastball is gonna be hard and strong, but my my hands will be hard and strong. Well, that's that's that. good, man. You can keep throwing them overhand rights because I come low. You know what I'm saying? That's all right. I, oh, I didn't Kent don't fight fair. Less. <laughs> oh, Kent don't, don't fight fair, brother. <laughs> well, I I don't either. None of them fit. They don't make them my size. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah. yeah, believe me, I know. I just. <laughs> I, I had a feeling you. I had a feeling you knew, talking about your guns like that. <laughs> it's our burden to bear, brother. What's the What's the furthest dinger anybody's ever hit off you? You ever had probably one where you just didn't look at it and you're yeah, like, "Damn last it!" Night. Yeah? yeah. How far that one yeah. go? <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, to a hanging you, slider to Trevor Story, and 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 he didn't miss it. So that know. happened. He's. He's a, he's a dinger hitter, man. You can't be too mad about that. Yeah, he's a dinger hitter. He got crushes. I got him two nights in a row, and then he got me the second night. But you know what? That's, you know, hey, that, that's what that's good hitters do. That's how it goes, do. man. Yeah. yeah. He, he, hit well, a bad, he, he hit my bad pitch. So. Well, next time he gets in, just, you know, maybe some of that chin music you was talking about earlier. <laughs> I gave Let that to know. his boy. I gave that to his boy, Arenado. I, it's a little hot. came out. You got to do what is. you got to do. You got to yeah. do what you got to do, man. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Those guys can ball, man. Those guys can hit. Well, hell yeah. They're in the major leagues, man. So are you. <laughs> I know. That's why you got to brush them you, up a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you got to fight the umpire, too. Let them know. Been like, yeah. you know, that should have been a dinger because you pinched me on the last one. That's you know what, what I mean? Telling. Yeah. I just blew in my hand. Throw the ball out. I'm like, damn. What was going on here? I forgot. I forgot the. I forgot the new rules. So you know. I like. Yeah. Well, you know, it is what it is. There's no fighting. Yeah. I mean, you still can. There was really no fighting before. It's not a new rule. Yeah, it's more just like, <laughs> hey, hold me back, hold me back. It's not like yeah, yeah. the Nolan Ryan. You know, get him in a headlock, uh, kill him. The good old days. The good old days. Yeah, and, yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, I miss that. We can't. You know. Look at the pictures of those guys, man. Those guys were. Red blood Americans out there. <laughs> That's a Texas out. boy right there, man. Oh yeah, well Nolan. Go. Hell, you probably go. see him. You probably see him around the park down there, don't you? No, I don't see him. I, I no. don't know if he. I don't. I, I, I hope to see him because I got some questions asked. Him, that's for sure. But nah, he hasn't. Look at this kid. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him charging you earlier. It looked like he was winning too. He heard you talking crap and just charged you right on. I mean, it's it's not. It's hey, that kid's gonna hit. Dan. He's gonna hit dingers one day, man. Let me tell you something, buddy. This dude, this dude's no joke. Swings the bat, swings the golf club. Love to swim. Uh, that's my retirement plan. That's right. that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what <laughs> you I'm got talking kids? about. No, no, well, I mean, I probably you don't know. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, 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 you know, I, city to city, day by day. You know, <laughs> came to play. That's uh, that's what we do. Well, we'll know in about 10 years when, when we got kids across America hitting dingers. <laughs> yeah, when you see a bunch of viral kids showing up on, on YouTube just hitting dingers and fighting co you're like, that's probably, that's Kent's kid neighbor. right there. That's right. <laughs> I love that. You I see, love that you'll, see, you. you'll see one of my kids fighting the new robot umpires when they get out there, you know what I mean? What do you think about those robot umpires? You for it? I didn't even know we were going to have robot umpires. I mean, they're not bringing them out yet, but they've been talking about it. Man, honestly, you'd you be completely honest with you. I just wish they would keep the game the way that it was. Like, I, I like, I wish there was no runner on second base in extra innings. I That's wish, the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I would. I wish there was no three batter minimum. Like, that's I also wish they, dumb. I agree. Yeah, I think. Uh, 
the game has been played for X amount of years the way it was, and then we're just going to come in and change it. I, and I, I think you'd find that common across the league. Most guys would probably say the same thing. But – you know, hey, it is what it is. That's you know, we got to roll with it, rules. man. Yeah, yeah we got to we make sacrifices, and then it is what it is. It sucks, but yeah. you know what? It, and that's our job. Yeah, roll with. It. Well, maybe you like you could use that, like when you go talk to when you go talk to coach, be like, you know, the rules are changing so much. I think it's time that you, you know, let me play some shortstop and hit some dangers, because uh, you know everything's changing too much for me. I think I think it worked. No, I t- I told him. I said, hey, man. I said. They saw me do a couple glove works that short, just a little something easy, basic, you know, but I guess it was, I guess it was above and beyond, you know, whatever is basic. And, uh, you know, I told him, I said, Hey, you ever need your boy to go out there? If we need it, it's going to be you. I mean, I know, I know you weren't talking crap about your glove when you was playing with Lindor out there in Cleveland though. Oh, no, he's good, man. Cause that guy, that guy's got some glove, man. Let me tell you something. That boy can play. Yeah, I know. I've seen he's it. One of the, he's one of the best I've ever seen. That's what I'm. That's why I said I know you weren't talking crap about your glove to him. You're probably saying yeah. it to everybody else. And then he's like, what'd you say? You're like, nothing, man. I'm going to go pitch. Yeah, I'm like, eh, you know what? I'll just I'll just sit on the titty and throw the ball. You just you get ready. <laughs> I like yeah, it. He, yeah, he, 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 hey, let me tell you something, man. That boy, that boy that can dude play. Can play. I mean, you're, you know, you're in the majors. You can play a little bit too, you know. You just got to let them know a little bit. Yeah, I let him know. I mean, you know, we all have our days. So, some of them good, some of them better. But how often? How is. often do you? Uh, how often do you shake off your catcher just to let him know you're in charge? <laughs> Honestly, very seldom. You know, because when he puts it down, I'm like, all right, man, let's roll. That's what you feel. That's what I'm feeling. Let's roll. Although sometimes there'll be sometimes where I'm like, that's questionable, and then I shake him off. Well, but, yeah. But usually, like, we're on the same page now. This is, you know, so, hey, we're good. He throws down I'm, not saying, I'm, I'm not saying he, the catcher's bad, but sometimes yeah. you just got to shake off the first couple of pitches just to let him know. Like, hey, man, right. I respect you, but also, you know, daddy's here on the mound. So, uh, <laughs> you know, just to let everybody know who yeah, the boss he, is. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea, man. Maybe I should do that. I, should do I that know more. it's a good idea because I've – I formulated it myself. I'm the best baseball <laughs> player that ever lived. Uh, I believe me. I I saw. I know. We're we're you're we're very comparable. I agree. I agree. I can't yeah. wait for our dinger derby, man. We're gonna we're gonna light it up, bro. You come over here. I put you on. I put you on the on the Nikki Guns plan. We're gonna have them them arms <laughs> looking beautiful. I got I got raw power coming from every part of my body, man. I don't need to lift <laughs> weights. It's just a waste of my dinger energy, man. I feel you. Okay, hey man, hey, let's go. We'll put it on. Hey, who, put it. Put it on for charity. Let's go. That's what I. Hey, I'm down. I'm always down to do something for charity, man. I love doing that crap. Yeah, me too. Anything. Yeah. Anything you want. We'll bro. set it up, brother. Hey, who's your favorite sure. team growing up? Braves. Braves. Who's your favorite Braves player? My, growing up or of all time? Growing up. Man, who do you think I'm going to say? Chipper. No. Wasn't no, he, close. Not close Larry. call. Raphael well, if you're doing shortstop, probably Furcal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raphael that guy had call. a that guy had a cannon for an arm, didn't he? Yeah, that's about what I had. Now was pretty, you know, that was had a cannon too. So you know, we switch hit. He actually is the reason why I started switching. It was Raphael Furcal. I remember I spent like two seasons in the backyard in my with a little pop up net hitting on a tee left handed just so I could be Raphael Furcal. Hell yeah. You know and, what? When uh, we do the Dinger Derby, man, I'm gonna have to hit you some. I'm gonna have to hit you some infield. See what see what kind of glove you actually got. Bro, I'll hit you some you lasers want. out there at short. Bring it. I'm ready. Hey, I, I'm deal. just. I'm curious to see it, man. You've been talking a lot of crap. <laughs> it ain't crap, bro. I'm back it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm with it now. Furcal Fer, was great. That's a good guy to model after. He was. Uh, he was fun to watch play short. Loved it. I, I liked Furcal. I loved. Uh, Big unit, I guess, Randy oh, Johnson. Yeah. And, Exploding uh, birds. you got to love that guy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And I, uh, I I like Chipper. And I, I, I wasn't a big Yankees fan growing up. They drafted me. And I ended up – like I, I 
love the. I mean, the Yankees are a great organization. And I, I, for whatever reason, the reason why I say that is because Mariano Rivera was somebody I always liked, too. Just, that dude just he, he was pretty good, wasn't he? Balls of steel, man. The best. Yeah. So, somebody I, that's somebody I looked up to. When I was on the mound, I was like, all right, well, since I'm not lefty, I'm going to be Mariano Rivera. <laughs> I and like then it. when I hit, I was like, all right, I'm going to be for call. And then <laughs> Throwing yeah. cutters and then throwing rockets. I exactly. love it, man. Just yeah, throwing. I'm with it. I love oh, it. Yeah. Hey, man, we got to get out of here. I got to wrap it up. I, I I need a prediction from you, though. <clears throat> I know okay. it's a short season. How many yep. strikeouts you think you're going to throw this year? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what I think you're going to do. I'm saying 280. Two, 280 punches? Yeah, that's what I said. Wow. That's probably right on par. I got I got a good bet. I got, I, got, I got a bet with myself. about My goal is to break 100. You know, we got one so far. I pitched in two games. We got one. That's all right. The, the, t- the tickets need to start going up, but, you know, they don't call me to KTN for nothing. You got time, man. And also, <laughs> and also before the season's over, I, I need you to talk, I need you to talk your coach in to let you hit. Cause I got to see, I got to see you at the dish this year, man. I got to see no. it at least once. Well, this, well, this universal DH they just put in, it's going to be really tough. Yeah, you're going to have to be persuasive. If you want me to give him a call, I will. Please do. Please All do. right, man. I, I will. Get, I'll give you Woody's number. I'm, I'm with you, man. Hey, Nick, thanks for coming on the show, brother. You can come All on right, anytime, thanks. man. I appreciate thanks, coach. it. I, I'll see you soon. Yeah, best of luck to you. Hey, guys, we'll see you next week on the Kent Murphy Podcast. Till then, hum that thing in there.